know what strikes me interesting is that you know that we're working on this this technology called parallel computing, and and I, I visit universities all over all over the world and, um, and talking about this technology and 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 getting people to, to be excited about using it. And what's what's interesting is is um, uh, without exception, the people that reaches out to use this technology tends to be chemists, mm. biologists, mm. astrophysicists. Sure. They tend not to be computer science people. They tend to be, you know, all of these cross disciplines that, that the people who are in the intersection mm -hmm. tends to be people who are reaching out to use information technology as a tool mm -hmm. to solve their problems. And they, as a result, become computational biologists. Mm -hmm. They become, they become uh, <laughs> computational financial analysts, quants. Mm -hmm. they, they, they all of a sudden become experts in computer algorithms and experts in computer architecture because they desperately need it to solve their problems. They made themselves interdisciplinary. Mm -hmm. You know, I wonder if, if uh, there's something that we need to do here in IT to reach out to these interdisciplinaries. Because I think we're, we're core capability. IT is almost like mathematics. It's almost a core capability. And, and building a bridge to all of these various different science departments uh, may, be, may be the right answer. Mm -hmm. To get them to think interdisciplinarily, but also to be strong in foundations, I mean, that's a lot to ask of people and kids. And, um, and, and it may mean that we have to educate them differently so that they're, they're collaborative, but they're, their fundamentals are sound. And um, they may have to find ways in which they are solving bigger and more complex problems earlier rather than you know, kind of nurse them through some, some introductory classes. Who knows? But to me, you, know, you can't do the interdisciplinary without you know, being number one or number two. I mean, really strong foundational thing. I'm tempted to do something I've never been tempted to do before, and that's paraphrase Ronald Reagan. Oh, my God. <laughs> Break down these walls, Dean Plummer. Break down these walls. I think that is the solution, that you need to get this collaboration going to get people to work together. Because if you think about our students and you think about how we have to think about educating them, we used to talk about educating students and they'd have their first job and their second job and their third job. Now they'll have their first career and their second career and their third career. And that's what we need to prepare them for. We need to educate them differently. And I think let the students drive it because they will build the cross-disciplinary collaborations and we faculty just have to make sure we don't get in their way too much. And how do you guys, how do you guys provide enough, enough, enough um, hours in the day for us to take additional courses and learn more things <laughs> right. beyond the curriculum that, that is already loaded on us? Sleep I mean, is an option. <laughs> <laughs>